all right you are welcome again today let's continue i want to take integration by part under 30 seconds how you can solve integration by part within 30 seconds now let's go let's take this question integrate or find the integral of x squared sine 3x dx look at this question we are asked to find the integral of this equation or this function x squared sine 3x so we are going to solve this within 30 seconds please follow me it's very very simple you know in this video it may take us more than 30 seconds but you know why because we are just learning how to do it but by the time you just master it within 30 seconds or even less than that i think you can solve that okay now let's go we're going to make uh the we're going to make use of the method called di method di method okay what is about this di method it's just talking about uh derivative and integration so i want us to i want you to draw a table like this draw a table having three columns draw a table having three columns so the first column is going to bear the signs sign plus minus plus minus plus minus okay and then the second column we're going to have u we're going to have your what the u and then the third column you're going to write your v okay now let's go back to the question we say the integral of x squared sine 3x now we can say that let a u be equal to x squared let a u be equal to what x squared and then let a v be equal to sine 3x so if you fix it you're going to look like this we have x squared under u and then sine 3x under v all right now let's go you know under u we are going to perform the operation of differentiation or derivative and then under the column of v we are going to perform integration that is di derivative and then integration okay so we are going to be uh differentiating the functions we have until it becomes zero so whenever or when once we get to the level that we have zero then we can stop okay so now let's go under iu we are going to differentiate so when you differentiate x squared you are going to have what 2x let's write it under it we're going to have 2x and then under v we have sine 3x we are going to find the integral of sine 3x so when you find the integral of sine 3x it's going to give us minus 1 all over 3 cos 3x is that true yes now let's go under u again i'm going to differentiate 2x when you differentiate 2x it's going to give you 2 okay yes and then under v we have minus 1 all over 3 cos 3x now let's put this minus 1 all over 3 by the side so the integral of cos 3x is going to give us 1 all over 3 sine 3x so 1 uh 1 all over 3 times minus 1 all over 3 outside the bracket is going to give us minus 1 all over 9 sine 3x is that clear yes now let's differentiate again when we differentiate uh 2 under u what are you going to have zero and then we integrate minus 1 all over 9 sine 3x under v so when you integrate we're going to simply pick or uh, take 1 all over 9 outside then we integrate 3 we integrate sine 3x so we integrate sine 3x we're going to have minus 1 all over 3 cos x so minus 1 all over 3 times minus 1 all over 9 outside the bracket is going to give us positive 1 all over 27 cos 3 x so we have differentiated a u and then integrated a v so look at the next step now we are going to take look at the way the arrow goes yes you get it right so we are going to make use of this sign in 
let's call this row two then let's call this one row three let's give the name row four you get it uh-huh so x in row two x x squared in row two is having positive so x squared in row two under u multiply by minus one all over three cos three x in row three under v you see the, how the arrow goes right so x squared multiplied by minus one all over three cos three x in row three okay so when you multiply you're going to have minus one all over three x squared cos three x you get it then you say plus and then we'll go to row three so row three under u we have 2x and then our sign is minus so when you see minus 2x multiply by row 4 under v you get it that is we're going to say minus 2x multiply by minus 1 all over 9 sine 3x in row 4 under v in row 4 under v you get it you say minus 2x multiply by minus 1 all over 9 sine 3x under v in row 4 so when you multiply it it's going to give us positive 2 all over 9x sine 3x you get it right then finally in row 4 our u which is 2 multiply by v in row 5 multiply by v in row 5 then we are having our v to be what 1 all over 27 so 2 times 1 all over 27 cos 3x is going to give us plus 2 all over 27 cos 3x so when you bring this together you can see clearly that we are having minus 1 all over 3 x squared cos 3x plus 2 all over 9x sine 3x plus 2 all over 27 cos 3x is that clear yes now when we bring this together and then rearrange we can simply say that the integral of x squared sine 3x dx is going to give us 2 all over 9x sine 3x minus 1 all over 3 x squared cos 3x plus 2 all over 27 cos 3x all right yes this is how to solve integration by path within 30 seconds let's take more example so that you will catch up easily all right yes let's go thanks for watching please like and share our videos thank you